In today's video, we will see how to determine the nature of roots of a quadratic equation using quadratic formula. So let us begin and see what is a quadratic formula. We have standard form of our quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay, and if we have to find the solution of this equation, solution means the values of x which satisfies this equation, the, what is the first way of doing it is by factorizing the above equation. What are the different ways of factorization we have learned? We have learned by the common factor method. We have learned that factorization can be done by regrouping the terms and or if these two doesn't work, then we can do factorization by splitting the middle term. We have learned all this. Correct? But what if we are not able to factorize using any of this? Then how do we find the solution of this equation? What do we do? We factorize and equate the factors to 0 and get the corresponding values of x, which is our solution. Now, if we are not able to factorize, then how do we find the solution? We find the solution of this equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 by the quadratic formula. And what does the quadratic formula say? That the solution of this given equation is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. And what are a, b and c here? a is the coefficient of x square, b is the coefficient of x and c is our constant term. So, the quadratic formula basically gives us the solutions or the roots, both of them mean the same of any quadratic equation. Okay, so suppose we have 2x square plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 and we have to find the solution of this equation. We can apply the quadratic formula, but we have to determine a, b and c first. So, let us write down the standard form. Compare, so our a is 2 b is 3 and c is negative 2. a is 2, b is 3 and c is negative 2. We put the values of a, b, c in the formula. So, we get minus 3 plus minus square root of 3 square minus 4 into 2 into negative 2 divided by 2 into 2 which is minus 3 plus minus square root of 25 divided by 4. So, we see that using the quadratic formula, we are able to find two solutions for this particular equation. And in this quadratic formula here, this is our quadratic formula. In this quadratic formula, the part which is inside the square root, which is b square minus 4ac, this is called the discriminant. And we represent the discriminant by d. The values of this d will help us determine the nature of the roots or the solutions of the given equation. Now, let us see what do we mean by the nature of the roots. So, we have the standard form of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And the discriminant d is given as b square minus 4ac. Correct? Now, this d is a number. It can either be a positive number, it can either be a negative number or it can be a 0. These are the three possible values any number can have. Any number, either it can be positive or it can be negative or it can be a 0. So, we will see all these three cases. What is the nature of the roots? What kind of roots or solutions we get for a given quadratic equation depending on the value of your discriminant, the value of b square minus 4ac. We will understand all these three scenarios with an example. So, let us take the first example, say 2x square plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Let us figure out our a, b and c. Our standard form is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, we get a as 2, b as 3 and c as negative 2. What is our discriminant? b square minus 4ac. b square is 3 square minus 4 into 2 into negative 2. 
which gives you a 25. Okay. So, what is our D? Our D is greater than 0. Correct. Our D is greater than 0. D is positive. Now, let us see the quadratic formula. So, x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Let us substitute the value. So, we get minus 3 plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac is 25 divided by 2 into a is 2. So, we get minus 3 plus minus square root of 25 is how much? 5 over 4. So, we have two values of x here. One is minus 3 plus 5 over 4 and the other is minus 3 minus 5 over 4. So this gives us a negative 2 and this gives us a positive 1 by 2. So, what do we see? That whenever our d is positive, whenever d is greater than 0, then we are getting two real and distinct roots. We are getting two roots in the scenario, minus 1 by, oh, sorry, 1 by 2 and minus 2. Both of them are real and they are different. Distinct means different. So, when d is greater than 0, the nature of the roots are two real and distinct roots. Correct? And let us see what happens graphically when we try plotting this curve here we see that the curve will intersect the x axis at x is equal to minus 2 and at x is equal to 1 by 2. So these are the two real and distinct roots when your discriminant is greater than 0. Let us take one more example x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. So here our a is 1 b is 4 and c is also 4. Let us find the value of our discriminant b square minus 4ac. So, we will get 4 square minus 4 into 1 into 4 which gives us a 0. Okay. So, our d is 0. Now, how does it affect our quadratic formula? Minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Let us substitute the values. So, we get minus 4 plus minus b square minus 4ac is 0 upon 2 into a is 1 which gives us minus 4 over 2 which is negative 2. Now, we are getting x as negative 2. So, what does it mean? Does it mean that x has only one value? Do we have only one solution? No. The number of solution will be 2 only because we have learned that number of solutions for any equation is always equal to its degree and in our case the degree is 2. So, we will have two solutions and what are these two solutions? These two solutions are nothing but minus 2 and minus 2. So, these two are real solutions and they are equal. So, when d is equal to 0, what is the nature of the roots? We have two real and equal roots. I hope this much is clear to everyone. Yes, and what happens graphically? Let us try plotting it. When we try to plot this curve, we will see that the graph just touches at x is equal to minus 2 and passes off. So, there are two values of x, minus 2 and minus 2, two solutions which are real and equal when d is equal to 0. Let us see what happens when d is negative. An example, say 2x square plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, our a is 2, b is 3 and c is 2. Discriminant d is given by b square minus 4ac which is equal to 3 square minus 4 into 2 into 2 which gives 9 minus 16 which is negative 7. So, our d is less than 0. Correct? And let us see how does it affect our quadratic formula. So, it becomes minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Substitute the values. So, we get minus 3 plus minus square root of. Now, d is negative. So, we have a negative value here divided by 2 into 2. Can we find the square root of a negative value? No, we cannot find. And if we can't find the square root, we will not be able to find the values of x. So, our x do not have any real value. 
correct or in other words x has no solution correct so what do we see that when d is less than 0 the nature of the roots is that there are no real roots okay and graphically how does it look like graphically your curve may be something like this when you try to extend the curve it goes here it goes here in none of the scenarios it actually intersects the x-axis so there is no value of x which when substituted here gives you a zero and hence there are no solution when d is negative so we see how powerful a quadratic formula is and just by finding out the value of the discriminant we can tell the nature of the roots okay so if you have liked the video or you have any queries regarding this video you can send me an email on kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com and you can subscribe to my youtube channel math academy at the given link thank you